Alright guys, how's it going? So I want to slightly divert away from Blender today, but in a kind of strange way, it kind of wraps itself around. And I want to talk about the application called Alchemy. Now the best way to describe Alchemy is for concept artists or for concepting unique ideals. Now don't expect a Photoshop program, don't expect a final quality image. The whole point is, it's there to get rid of all the ideas that get stuck in your head or sit in your subconscious and kind of be free. It's available for free, I'll put a link in the description down below. Now this was actually taught to me by a guy called Ian Thompson and he's a brilliant artist, does a lot of 3D game stuff these days. So it's better just to show you. Now, it's pretty much a blank canvas to be honest. And if I come up here, we have a basic toolbar. We can control the style of the line. We can over and under. So you pretty much get two layers. You can control the line with, obviously you have the color. And this is pretty much the brushes that you get. So you get shapes, make shapes. So you can actually control the shape of the brush by talking in the microphone, pretty cool. Speed shapes, X shapes, stuff like this. And over here on the right, we have effect, which is essentially a modifier. So what I'm going to do is, I've enabled the mirror modifier, I'll go to create, I'll go to shapes, and I'll make this one. So, this week, I've been pretty much concepting a hybrid of a police car, and a kind of drone, and a kind of spaceship, I don't know what to call it. <laughs> so I'm going to quickly sketch. Now, I'm using the Huon Pro, and you really do need some sort of graphics tablet, especially if you're spending time concept art. So obviously we have these kind of lights on top of a police car and we have the window so something like this and I'm being very fluid I'm not thinking too much about it and obviously we have something like this in terms of the bonnet and maybe some lights here and maybe a quick grill now it doesn't have wheels because it flies so we'll give it some wings and that's it so let's kind of add some stuff here as well now what I can do is I can go to under, I'll change the colour, and let's quickly fill this in. Now, one thing I need to mention about this application, it has no undo. <laughs> and it's kind of so strange to begin with. So you can see I made a mistake there, I never put it to under. So I never drew under the mesh, which is perfectly fine, because I can change this back over to over, and let's do something like this. And now I have a different shape. And this is the whole point of the application. Now, when I look at this image, whether I believe it or not, it kind of reminds me of Fifth Element. And your brain really does play tricks on you. It pulls in references and it pulls in ideas from other things, whether you think it or not. And the whole point of alchemy is to get rid of this. So, that's not brilliant. It's never going to win any awards. So let's check out some of these other shapes. And let's go to splatter. And let's add a couple of splatters. So I need to change the brush style here. And let's just quickly randomly paint something like this. Now I'm thinking, what the hell is this? What are you doing? So the point here is, I quite like this shape here. So this could possibly be a wing. Let's change the style again. So it could possibly be something like this. And let's bring the wing out and maybe that could be another part of the wing. And you can quickly start to see you get different shapes in different form and you're not really putting too much thought in it and then this is a great thing about alchemy the more tools that you use you can start adding things like a displacement a random you can even tell the canvas to delete the image after 10 seconds so you need to quickly sketch so i'll show you what i've done in photoshop and I'll hopefully it'll make a bit more sense so this is what i started kind of creating so in photoshop i started off with these kind of thumbnails well, let's zoom this in and you can see here I'm stuck in this kind of Ridley Scott rocket ship kind of method, especially this one here. And I thought, okay, I need to change this up a bit. Let's try a car. So I quickly drew a car. And I ended up with these kind of lines at the back, and I thought, I quite like that. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the Batmobile or this kind of 70s Chevy thing. I thought, okay, let's kind of take this idea a little bit forward. So I went to this shape, and it was a bit too round. And I kind of started doing front on views. And I ended up with something kind of like this. So what I'll do now is, I'll actually go into Photoshop and I'll do the final image. I'll concept out the final art and I'll refine it and I'll keep refining it. And everything has been generated 
naturally. There's no kind of references. Like here I might use a light and here I might use this as an engine bay. And that's pretty much the entire point of alchemy, is to get rid of all these inhibitions and all these ideas that are kind of locked in. And I highly recommend you use it. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, support me in Gumwood, you know what to do. Take care.